Wake up, you. Last night she said something about a love triangle between the daughter of a German spy, a federal agent, and a Nazi villain. I can't make any sense of it. We better go see Steve Hayes, tired old queen at the movies. John, John the Piper, son. Come on! Tired old queen at the movies. <laughs> oh, Johnny. It's time for an Alfred Hitchcock film. And for this one, I chose one with the ultimate star power. Alfred Hitchcock's Notorious, starring Cary Grant, Ingrid Bergman, Claude Rains, and Leopoldine Constantine. Now, this movie was based on an original screenplay by Ben Hecht. And what it essentially is, is Ingrid Bergman plays the daughter of a man who was a Nazi spy and was convicted of being so and arrested. She's followed by an FBI man, played by Cary Grant, because they want her to infiltrate a group of Nazis in Rio de Janeiro that they think are up to something and they can't quite figure out what's going on. She's sort of a loose woman. <laughs> Which for Ingrid Bergman was sort of um, a change of pace. She just played a nun uh, in uh, for, uh, The Bells of St. Mary's and was being forever associated with being saintly. Because it's a lot of wood. So she was very anxious to break that. She and Cary Grant were, were very good friends. Ingrid was playing a character who falls madly in love with him. He's very suspicious of her. They go down there and she meets Claude Rains, who is the head of this Nazi group. And she knew him previously and he had been in love with her. And to ingratiate herself into this group, she sleeps with him. You let me help your loneliness? Cary Grant can't believe that, that she agreed to sleep with him, and he becomes a real bastard to her for the remainder of the movie. Listen, you chalked up another boyfriend, that's all. No harm done. There's no occasion to. You're doing good work. Number 10's out in front. Looks as if Sebastian knows how to pick him. She moves into the house. Claude Rains has been living with his mother in this house, who's played by this Austrian actress named Leopoldine Constantine, who's the most sinister woman since Mrs. Danvers and Rebecca. She is amazing. You did not testify at your father's trial. We thought that unusual. He didn't want me to. He refused to let his lawyers call me on the stand. I wonder why. Gradually, she starts getting information, and they figure out that something's going on. They're doing something with uranium. Meanwhile, Grant is just being cold, cold, cold to Ingrid. She's in. She's just sick because she's married now to Claude Rains, and the man she loves is treating her like dirt. And then things turn, and they find out what she's really up to, and she's in big trouble. She must go, but it must happen slowly. If she could become ill and remain ill for a time, the person who really steals this movie is Claude Rains. Claude Rains had come over from England. He was trained uh, at the same time that John Gielgud was. He had this incredible voice, this maleficent sort of voice. And his first starring role that made him a huge superstar was The Invisible Man, in which you heard nothing but his voice. And it was one of the most famous voices in movies. He had been Oscar nominated for Casablanca. He was in for Mr. Skeffington with Betty Davis. He was in Now Voyager with Betty Davis. He was just such an all-around great actor. And in this movie, he plays this sympathetic man who's smaller than his wife, madly in love with his wife, like a young boy. And just heartbroken, heartsick, because he knows that she's in love with someone else. He kissed you. I... I couldn't stop him. I tried. We'll talk about it later. Your guests are upstairs. The woman who plays his mother, this Leopoldine Constantine, was this classically trained Austrian actress, and they have an amazing scene. I am married to an American agent. Instantly, she reaches across, she grabs a cigarette with one hand and she puts it in her mouth and she lights it. <coughs> she goes. <sighs> it is easy to see now. I knew, but I didn't see. Fortunately for us, we're protected by the enormity of your stupidity. Oh, she's just so great. And they decide they have to slowly start to kill Ingrid. You were almost as impetuous as before your wedding. You barred me from that episode. Let me arrange this one. 
It's not about surprise. It's about suspense and it's about romance. Hitchcock was one of the most romantic directors in Hollywood. Hitchcock set this elaborate scene up where they kiss and they kiss and they walk across the room kissing. And it was really awkward for them. They had to hit all these marks and the camera keeps swirling around them and they keep nuzzling each other and kissing each other. And he picks up a phone and they're still kissing. And it's one of the most erotically charged kissing scenes ever put into a film. There it is. Go ahead, read it to me, please. It's one of the most romantic films of the 40s. The camera work is beyond belief. And as always with any Hitchcock picture, it's just top flight entertainment and far better than practically anything anybody else was doing. Cary Grant, Ingrid Bergman, Leopoldine Constantine, and the amazing Claude Rains. And Alfred Hitchcock's Notorious. Let's all go to the lobby. How, how am I looking? Let's all go to the lobby. Angry, bitter, the usual. <laughs> a treat. 